What is up everybody, my name is Seth and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to root any Android phone out there using the latest and safest method out there. And I know guys nowadays a lot of the Android phones come with the Android version of Pi or above. But don't worry, this method of root will work with the latest version of Android. So without any further talk, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> guys the best part about this routing method is that using it you won't lose any of your data on top of that it is also by far the safest and the most secure method out there what that means is that you know, you'll be able to run all the apps like banking and forex applications that you couldn't previously run with the older methods of route you will also get wide range of modules through this route which will unlock features like call recording system theme modification and much more so guys there is just one requirement for this routing method to work before you get along with this video and that is you need to have a custom recovery installed on your phone. Nowadays most of the phones come with the locked boot loader which do not let you install any certain kind of a mod on your phone. So with the help of a custom recovery you can not only install any mod but you can also upgrade to the next version of Android even before your phone's manufacturer releases it. But the only problem here is that the method to install the custom recovery is actually different for different devices. There isn't just one single method out there which you can follow to install the custom recovery on every Android phone. But don't worry, the very first mod that gets released for an Android phone is actually the custom recovery. So if you go ahead and search on Google for it, you will definitely find it for your device. And guys, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be rooting my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 which is currently running on Android Pie. Let me get inside of the settings to show you the actual Android version. Now here guys, in about phone soft information, you can see that the Android version being shown here is 9. So guys, after you're done flashing the custom recovery onto your device, the next thing is to save the root file which is actually Magisk Root File Manager onto your device. The link to this file is gonna be in the description of this video, so go there, download it and then save it onto your phone. So after you're done doing that, boot up inside of the custom recovery. Alright guys, so after you're booted up inside of the custom recovery, the very first thing that you gotta do is to back up all of your data because if in case anything goes wrong, you can simply go back anytime and restore your data. Alright, so with that being set aside, let's get along with the routing process. Now here guys, you need to tap on install and move to the directory where you saved your Magisk root file. I saved it up inside of my SD card folder uh, soft, so here it is showing me up the file, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then swipe to confirm flash now that is going to be taking a little while but after it's done flashing my phone will be successfully rooted all right so let's just give it a little while and there we go the file has been successfully flashed now i can go ahead and tap on reboot system so guys, as you can see, my phone has been successfully booted up and now I'm going to go ahead and show you the root status on my phone. So guys, if you go ahead on the Play Store and search for a root checker, then you will come across a lot of the applications which will basically check the root status on your phone. Well, for the sake of this video, I have installed this app right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and then I'm going to go ahead and tap on verify root. And there you go. As you can see, it says congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So yeah, guys, it was how to root any Android phone out there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.